Okay, it's Wednesday, October the 31st, about 9.45 a.m. I decided to come over here and, and uh, videotape this hole that Sebastian had to dig out yesterday. Uh, there's that big piece of concrete right there. As you can see, uh, that concrete is, is pretty thick. It goes down three feet down there. Sebastian's filled some of it in already, but what he ended up doing, it was just too big for him to dig out by himself, and it was so deep uh, down there. So what he did was he used one of his tools and he literally cut it out. Cut out enough room to put the new post in. This is the new post that's in there right now. Um, he'll fill that in with cement obviously when, today when he finishes. But um, that was crazy. Uh, unbelievable. He came up with a really good idea there. So he'll finish that today. And in the meantime, yesterday he also replaced this other post over here. This is all along the back fence. There's the new post right there. Um, that one was a lot easier to replace. Uh, but so he did that one yesterday. Well, in the meantime, uh, here's the post there. He's got another post he's got to do here later today. Uh, as soon as he finishes that one, I think it's this post right here. Um, yeah, you can see. You see, this one's also uh, rotted down there as well. So he'll be doing that one later today. But I had to come over here and video this one because uh, of how extensive it was. You should have seen it yesterday when he was first chopping. He couldn't, when he realized that he couldn't, there's no way he could pull that cement out. Um, he came up with this way. That's Sebastian. He came, he's very creative. So anyway, I had to come show that. Okay, it's still uh, October 31st, Wednesday. I just. Uh, did routine maintenance on your garage door over here at Sand Creek Way that it sure has not been done because it was so noisy when I first got here. Oh, actually, when I first started, came over here, coming over here because I can tell it hasn't been done. Most people don't know how to do it. But I, since I was here when the garage door was installed, uh, the maintenance guy showed me how to do the maintain it. So I'm going to close it now. You hear how quiet it is. Open it up again. See, there you go. Much quieter than it was when I first got here. All the squeaking is gone. So it's just garage door noise now. So anybody got that fixed. Okay, um, that's it for right now. Okay, it's still Wednesday, October 31st. I decided to video these boards that were taken out the other day. So you can see closer up how rotten they were. Uh, Sebastian's over here doing death work now. Uh, say hey, Sebastian. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay. October 31st, it's about 1.15. Here's uh, Sebastian's preparing the hole for the final post, fence post. Uh, he's vacuuming out with, with his vacuum the dirt out of there. He's ready to replace the new post in there. So. Yeah. So anyway, that's what he's doing right now. Um, and uh, over here he has found, uh, this is your deck. Uh, there's the underboard underneath the jet. As you see, they're also pretty much rotten. But um, he's going to just repair those. Uh, and uh, but he's got several boards here that he's going to replace. This one right here, see, he wrote in there, replace, because they said the lady could put her high heel down there, and and then right there, the same thing. And he's got a couple other boards along here. He's wrote replace, he's going to replace on those. Uh, same thing over here with some rotten wood, and somebody's hold high heel to get down there. And then he's got some other boards he's just going to fix. So he wrote fix on there. So. Anyway, that's what's going to happen here. Um, and around here on the side, I forgot to video this this morning. It's October 31st. 
yesterday I um or anyway here's the uh the words he's fixed over here is the new uh, post right here on the gate on the left side of the house another new post and uh, you got a new piece of wood up top to help support it as well as one right there so now the door opens it's nice and solid now well, which is what it was not before that it was all loose and all because all the boards were rotten so uh, and then here's another board that he a post that he replaced right here so anyway so that's what he's done so this is Wednesday he's been working for three days over here uh, he says uh, he'll get everything else he's got to do finished tomorrow four days uh, he was supposed to be at our house this whole week, but uh, we've loaned him to you guys to get this thing done because you have new people moving in next week. Um, so unfortunately, our project had to be put on hold you know, to do this. So anyway, but it had to be done, uh, even though uh, uh, you guys don't seem to uh, be responsive here. You don't. You don't. You're just kind of letting everything go. So anyway. Um, uh, hopefully you realize that uh, a house has to be maintained. It has to be looked after. Um, uh, you have to keep an eye on it. The people have been living here for eight years. Uh, you have to know that when they move out that things there's going to be some maintenance that has to be done. Um, usually when somebody moves out, if they've been in a place that long, the whole place gets painted. That's what, apartment, that's what apartments do when somebody moves out. They always repaint the whole thing. So, but anyway... Uh, he's just trying to do what absolutely has to be done right now because uh, stuff this stuff had to be done I mean, okay that's it um, here's that last post that I was just showing you that Sebastian's in the process of replacing right now here's the one that came out this is how he was able to get it out it was completely rotten there was nothing left he literally just pulled it right out of the concrete and the, the little crumbs that were left in there he vacuumed them out that's how bad it was okay Kid. Oh. It's Thursday, November 1st, 2018, it's about 11.15. Sebastian is over here pressure washing the house, and now he's pressure washing the concrete to make it look good. It's one of the many things he's doing. And I'm going to show you the rest of it. Okay, here you can see he goes pressure wash the front porch. And he's pressure washed the house. He's pressure washed the house. And uh, anyway, I didn't know he was going to do that, but I guess he's trying to do a little bit of everything. So, you know, Sebastian, he tries to do everything right. So. Anyway. Sorry he's in the shadows. You can't see how good it looks, but it definitely looks better. Anyway, here's the new post he, he put in yesterday. It's kind of hard to see because it's treated wood so it almost matches the paint. But there it is. You can see it's been completely replaced. There's all those tools still there. Uh, he still hasn't filled in that hole over there yet, but he's going to today. Sebastian tends to, tends to jump around a little bit. Uh, he, he, that way he doesn't get too bored with doing one job. Okay. Definitely looking better though. Anyway, he said he fixed the patio door, so I'm going to go check that out right now. See how that goes. Oh, heck yeah, look at that. Oh my gosh, look at that. One finger, it, sli it slides. Look at that. Look at that. Fantastic. Good old Sebastien. And it's been like that for years. It locks. The lock works now. Perfect. Good old Sebastian. Alright. Okay, here's a closer look at the uh, concrete that he's pressure washing. <laughs> Hello. The 
Okay, once again, Sebastian, here's the back patio door. There's Sebastian. He's gonna he fixed that patio door. It hasn't it's, it was like it was not working over eight years ago when the other people moved in. So here's Sebastian to show you how good it does now. See how the door just slides with just a couple of fingers, it slides all the way. He had to take the whole thing out because you couldn't lift the door out because the tile in there was too high. Evidently the tile was put in afterwards. So he ended up having to take the whole, the whole door, or set of patio doors out, uh, and uh, and then uh, so he could get the other one out. Oh yeah, and the the lock does work too. Yeah, I showed it that already. So, okay, there's good old Sebastian, who's working hard as he can. This is day four. He have one more full day at least over here. All right. Okay, it's Friday, November the second. It's about eleven, eleven, eleven thirty. Uh, anyway, I'm uh, video what I know. It's 11 15. Uh, I just finished doing some work over here at the house. I wasn't gonna do it, I swore I wasn't gonna do it, but I did this for Helen. Anyway, I'm videoing uh, what we mentioned in the email yesterday. Here's the cabinet in the kitchen. As you can see, it's about to come off the wall. Uh, you can even, Sebastian was here, he actually pushed it. You can, it it's actually movable, so it's gonna fall down here pretty soon. So anyway, he's going to fix that. That's the thing that has to be done because I guarantee if they put something in there, it's going to fall down. So anyway, but that crack, I uh, measured it as one inch in the back of the top. So um, anyway, that's the situation there. And I'll show you once, once again, this door, it closes really nicely. Look at that. Perfect. So much better than it was. I can't believe we left it like that for eight years. Should have fixed it before, but anyway. Okay, I came over here this morning to help Sebastian out because he just got so much to do fixing all the, uh, the junk that's wrong with his house. So um, anyway, I said I'll come over here and I'll trim all these vines uh, that were hanging over the fence and growing through it. As you can see, here's the video. You can see it's literally growing through the fence. It's messing up the fence already. It's already popped out a couple of the, there's a couple of the boards that are uh, trim boards between the cracks. Uh, it's broken those and knocked them off. But here's all the different, uh, you can see all the different vines that are just going through the fence. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't bring tools with me. I didn't realize, because uh, you couldn't see, I didn't realize how much extensive it was actually going through the cracks in the fence. But uh, as you can see, it's pretty bad. And I could not get behind the, the, the shed here, so I got, I got it far, as far over as I could get. But I could not reach, and I could not stand on top of this shed. It's not substantial enough. So I did the best I could do. Uh, and I didn't have the tools with me. I didn't realize how thick that uh, vine was down there. I can't cut that with my hedge clipper, so um, uh, I've got. To, it needs to be cut back. Sebastian said he's going to cut it uh, today. Well, he's got some tool, a saw with it. He'll cut it with. So um, that way I don't have to go home and come back. So, um, but anyway, I cut it all back as much as I could, and I cleaned it up. Uh, anyway, okay, uh, that's about it. Uh, um, here's the patio. As you can see, the patio looks much better uh, after he pressure washed it than it did the other day. There's the going out the front, the side gate. It looks like brand new concrete almost. It's, it's, uh, I remember I pressure washed it eight years ago, and it's the same thing. It gets that mold on there uh, back here, and um, when it gets slightly damp with this morning dew like we have here now every morning, uh, it gets really slippery, and so uh, somebody could fall, and there's a lawsuit. Uh, people here in Alameda nowadays is pretty bad. Runners are pretty bad. They sue and they do everything at the drop of a hat. No way I'd rent, uh, rent uh, any land, any um, house or room or anything to anybody anymore over here. The, the climate is just too bad to be renting to people. Um, but anyway, uh, I also trimmed a little bit of that tree over there was hanging over in that corner back there. Uh, next door neighbor was hanging over the fence so I just cut all, anything that was hanging over that I could reach, I cut. So I got that done. Um, here's uh, the uh, post that Sebastian replaced yesterday. I know I took pictures, but anyway, there's the post. You can't, hardly, can't even hardly tell it was replaced because it looks almost the same color. But it's treated wood, so um, uh, therefore uh, uh, bugs and everything won't get in. It should, it should last a whole lot longer. It's more expensive, but it's better in the long run. This whole fence basically is pretty crappy. It needs to be replaced, but anyway, right now we're just doing whatever has to be done. Um, and there's that uh, hole that I videoed the other day. Uh, Sebastian's going to do that to fill that in today or something. Okay, that's it 
for right now I'm getting out of here I did not intend to be doing all this this morning I was just going to trim that but it ended up being more involved than I thought so and that's it okay there's Sebastian he's starting to work on the uh, or where he's working on the gutters uh, and uh, and everything replacing wood and all this kind of stuff so uh, definitely much improved I can see a difference already so uh, anyway it's uh, Friday uh, 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 November the 2nd 2018 Okay, anyway up here is uh, on this side is the uh, board that Sebastian was gonna, is gonna have to replace because it's rotten. I just gotta find out which one it is. Uh, oh yeah, there it is right there. Uh, it's the rotten board, but it's right above where somebody put a dish in. So uh, that explains that. It's right there and that's where the water came in and it, and it messed up that board. So uh, there's the dish. So uh, good old Sebastian found that. So uh, anyway, that's something that certainly has to be done before the roof gets messed up anymore. Uh, anyway, there is the, uh, I'm not sure if I got this before, but anyway, there's the uh, fence uh, and uh, the, uh, I came over here and uh, cut back uh, the um, roots that were sticking through that was too thick for me to cut with my uh, hedge clipper. So I came back and got all those cut out of there. And you see the fence is pretty messed up. But um, that's what happens when you don't have anybody over here, uh, uh, you know, taking care of the stuff on a regular basis. I guess John just let this one go for some reason, but he kept everything else trimmed back really nicely. But uh, I don't know why he didn't keep this one cut back. But anyway, uh, the fence is messed up, but uh, that's about it. Nothing we can do about it. So uh, that's where you need somebody over here taking care of the place. So. Uh, uh, anyway, that's it. Okay, I'm going to go in here and uh, video this um, problem with the eaves over here uh, in the front of the house uh, that uh, Helen was uh, mentioning. So, get out here. Do that. Uh, yeah, you see it. The wood is all rotten up underneath there. So, it's kind of messed up. It's messed up all along there because uh, it wasn't done right. So, anyway, all along there messed up. So. Okay. There's Sebastian still working, working hard to get this done for you. Okay, it's Sunday morning, November the 4th, 2018. I'm over here at the house. I just came over to check, see what Sebastian did yesterday and um, uh, check a couple of things. Anyway, the first thing I see here is the deck, uh, the wood that he's replaced. Uh, there's one rotten piece of stair down. You can see sort of the whole thing where the boards that have been replaced. Uh, you know, doesn't look like much, but uh, all this cutting and measuring and making sure it fits exactly correct, that takes time. But as you can see, it looks uh, real professional. I mean, uh, it is professional. That's what Sebastian does. Uh, but very good, the way he cut, look at the way he cut around that to make that piece of wood fit in there. I mean, you know, that's just good quality work right there. No doubt about it. So it looks like he replaced all the boards that he, um, said that uh, needed to be re replaced at this time and um, when I go up here and walk on it um, the whole deck definitely feels a whole lot better because the other day when I walked on it uh, you know you could feel it given here and there so I can see, definitely see where Sebastian has tightened up the deck so it's definitely much better than it was no doubt about it uh, okay and anyway right over here is that middle fence post uh, that he had replaced uh, he uh, finally got back to uh, and uh, put the cement in there uh, that cement is still drying um, but uh, it's pretty uh, it might be dry now I don't know it's hard to say so that's just, I'm assuming he'll put some put the dirt back over it here sometime today he's coming here today even though it's Sunday uh, to finish up a little odds and ends that uh, he just hasn't quite finished I mean, such as cleaning up and all this, I mean, here you still got all this, some of his equipment and everything here. 
Uh, Sebastian has been really working hard this week uh, despite not getting paid. Uh, but um, he knows that, uh, that he can depend on Helen to uh, pay him even though even if uh, he doesn't get any money from, uh, from the owner of the house. So anyway, here's the back fence where I, uh, that I uh, cleaned all the vines off the other day. Um, it looks pretty bad, but hey, that's what happens when nobody's here maintaining the house. Um, Sebastian painted the uh, storage building yesterday. Um, you can just tell it looks much better. I'll back up, give you a wider view of it. Definitely looks much better than it did. Uh, he could not paint the roof. The roof is so flimsy. Um, and uh, that's the same reason why I could not get up on there and in the back uh, clean, the, get the vines in the back of the, of the building because it's too flimsy for me to stand on. And the, of course the fence is about to fall down so I couldn't stand on top of that either. So I just cut what I could reach in there and get. But uh, obviously the building does look a lot better. Uh, I mean, it looks more presentable since it's been painted. I mean, you know, if you're paying good money for the house you want everything to at least look good so it looks like you got a decent place to stay um, so anyway there's a little bit more mess that Sebastian still has to clean up so he's got quite a bit to do today over here just in cleaning up he's there's almost a truckload of, of his of his tools and everything in the garage so anyway but here's another view of the deck uh, from the left corner of the house uh, you can see clearly the boards that were replaced. That deck is much more solid now than it was, no doubt. Sebastian is just a, just 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 great. He just does a great job. Uh, okay, anyway, I'm going to come on in here in the uh, kitchen and uh, anyway, here in the kitchen uh, is the, uh, of course, this door locks. Looks very nicely now. Anyway, Sebastian did fix this uh, cabinet back up there. It may be hard to see in this video, but he did mount it back up there so it's not going to come off the wall uh, now. So, in temporary fix, but hey, it works. It works. So, okay, I'm going to go out here, out the garage, and I'll go up in the uh, upstairs area to. Uh, uh, see the attic since uh, Sebastian cleaned out the attic yesterday. Okay. And then we go over here to the attic door. And uh, there's the light, believe it or not. There's That's the light. <laughs> Gah. Anyway, the... Uh, I don't know how much is going to come out on this video, but uh, all that crap that was here... It's been here for 23 years. It's gone. Um, quite frankly, I don't know why it was bought. Anyway, anyway, uh, that's it. Uh, so it looks like it's just some scrap wood or something in here. And uh, I don't know what all that stuff. Is. It looks like somebody tried to build some kind of a frame or something. I don't know what that is. Anyway, uh, but it's all cleaned out. Ain't nothing in here now. So can't believe with everything Sebastian had to do that he somehow managed to get up here and clean out all this crap out of the attic. So uh, Sebastian is, just never ceases to amaze. Okay, okay here's all the uh, stuff that's in the garage here uh, that Sebastian has to put on his truck to get out of here. I don't know, it looks like there's a couple of mattresses there. I don't know what, I guess Sebastian's gonna throw those somewhere. Probably dump them in Oakland somewhere. That's what I would do. Um, so, but Sebastian's got a truck loader just to get his stuff uh, out of here. So, it's crazy. Okay. Anyway, um, I was supposed to check this sprinkler, but I don't see anything wrong with it. So, uh, I've had it on for a while. I don't see any leaking anywhere. So, uh, I'm not sure what the complaint was. So. Anyway, I'll just leave that alone. Nothing to do, which I'm glad, because I didn't really want to deal with it. Because, uh, you know, homeowner completely ungrateful, doesn't even care about what's going on over here. But the sprinklers are, uh, they're not, the sprinklers, they're not leaking. I don't see any leaks anywhere. 
the plants here seem to be surviving okay. Uh, uh, John kept these plants all nice and neatly trimmed uh, over the years. And that's the last tenant that was here. They were the best tenants ever. They really did. They treated this house like it was their own because they honestly thought they were going to be able to buy the house eventually. But um, uh, I guess they got tired of waiting and and uh, I don't know if they could have afforded it anyway. I just don't know. But they sure left the, left the front looking nice and neat. They did a really good job uh, taking care of the place. They took care of it like it was their own. Okay, that's it uh, for this video this morning. Um, I'm going to head back over to the house. So uh, Sebastian will be coming here, uh, here pretty shortly to uh, finish up everything. Okay, that's it. February the, uh, excuse me, uh, November the 4th, 2018, Sunday. Okay, one thing I forgot was, uh, this is the gutters uh, This Sebastian's put. He just finished, uh, he's just now putting the downspout on there. I, I brought him some lunch here to, to give him some energy, but uh, there's Sebastian in the garage there right now. So uh, anyway, I'm, uh, there's the uh, gutter that he put up there. Um, so, okay. Okay, it's Tuesday morning, November the 6th. Uh, Helen, Helen and Darius came over here last night and uh, completely cleaned up the inside of the house, uh, swept, mopped, dusted, and everything else. Anyway, I wanted to point out this back fence. Uh, uh, Sebastian did come over here and cover up the hole with the cement after a drive with the, the dirt that was left over. So uh, you can never tell that it was um, done. But anyway, I, would, I do want to show out the things, several things here. Um, first of all, there were some nails sticking out of this fence, so I would pulled those out. This fence is crappy. It needs, of course, to be replaced. I don't know if that's yours or the people behind you, whatever. But I cut all the vines out. I've already showed you all that. There's the, uh, I mean, you see down there, see how it's, the wood has rotted away and all this kind of stuff. Um, I could not get all the way behind this metal shed. You see, I could just reach over. I could not stand on it because it's too flimsy. So I could only cut what I could cut. Basically, I can't even stand on top of this flimsy fence to get over there because the fence is too flimsy, so I did what I could do. Okay, um, then this deck, again, is very solid now. I mean, considering how rotten the wood is underneath it, so uh, Sebastian did an amazing job on that one. Um, anyway, okay, uh, there's, uh, there's the other po another post that he replaced right there. You can't even tell. It's uh, treated wood and it almost matches the color of the fence. So you can't even tell uh, that he did it. So that was, again, excellent work on Sebastian's part. Uh, but um, anyway, um, go around here and he steadied up this bench. This bench was had some looseness to it or something. He steadied that up as well. Um, he also uh, came in here and cleaned out, cleaned out, swept up the inside of this, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, metal uh, cheap storage bin. Um, there's still some sealing that needs to be done. God, John, the uh, previous tenant. Okay, <clears throat> again, it's um, Tuesday, November the 5th, 2018. Okay, here's the inside of the uh, tool shed. As you can see, uh, it's been swept. Helen came over and swept it up. Um, John, the previous tenant, did get in here and, you know, he did seal it, uh, put some sealer down. I was really like flex seal or something, but it's not complete. He's, there's some areas that he they couldn't finish or something, but he tried to make it, he tried to make this place like it was his, so did a pretty good job. Anyway, here's along the side um, of the house. Again, you notice the concrete looks like brand new concrete, um, but here's the post that Sebastian did. There's the top woodwork. They're treated wood, solid. The fence is solid. He fixed the fence. Here's another post that he put in. He fixed this fence so it's, it's, it's solid. It was it was shaky, really shaky before he fixed it. So again, that's just another thing he did. Okay, I'm going back here in the back and um, point out something that uh, needs to be addressed somewhere on time. If you look up here above the patio door, if you see the shingles on the edge, they're all curled up and there's a possibility uh, that they're, that there's leaking water underneath there and going to rot that wood all across. It's, all, it's only on the back and it's all across the back edge of the uh, gutters all around 
going right up this side it's not, uh, of the to the of the back house part of the house so I'm not sure what's going on I, I have to crawl up there to see but uh, it, it looks pretty bad the rest of the roof looks good but it's just along this back edge right above the patio door it looks like there's some issue there uh, the other issue is along this uh, on this uh, gate that's on the right side of your driveway. This is not a biggie, but um, uh, if you go to open it, see it drags? It's because this post is loose, and of course the wood right there is rotten. So, uh, but if you just lift up on this, it opens really nicely. So, um, uh, you know, it's just a minor thing, but it, it does need to be uh, addressed. There's nobody here taking care of this place, so um, uh, this kind of all these little things kind of add up here and there. Okay, I'm going to go back in, and I'm going to show uh, things that need to be done, etc., etc. Here at the house. Okay, let me lock this door. Okay, now here we are inside the back kitchen room. Here's this little area. It obviously had leaked before. I think John fixed it or somebody fixed it. I'm not sure. It looks like it's been okay now it's not leaking but that could be an issue okay here are little areas on the wall uh, little spots here and there it's, again this house normally people move out of a place especially if they've been there eight years uh, it gets painted but this has not been painted uh, we did only what was absolutely necessary uh, to get the house uh, in uh, a safe situation that's what we did Okay, here's the hardwood floors in the living room. Uh, there is a, uh, there's just scuff marks on it, but it, it looks, considering it's only been here for eight years, it actually looks pretty good. Uh, the wall, again, there's a spot on the wall. Sebastian just kind of tried to touch up some of the spots. There's some holes there uh, and everything, but um, basically, uh, again, considering it's only been here eight years, it looks pretty good. Uh, it turned out that the three outlets that Sebastian said weren't working turned out they're controlled by the light switch uh, one here uh, and then uh, in the couple of the bedrooms so there was those are okay uh, I came over here today and I replaced uh, there was no bulb in this outside front uh, front uh, patio light the porch light so I put a bulb in there so that works um, so I took care of that um, anyway so now we go down here, and oh, the other thing I did is with batteries in the um, carbon monoxide detector, it was beeping yesterday when I came over here, so I just replaced those batteries today. Um, okay, and over here in this first bedroom, uh, this room looks pretty darn good. Uh, it looks like it probably wasn't even hardly used. Uh, the floor looks like it just got cleaned. I mean, there's a couple of scuff marks, but again, considering it's been eight years, it uh, looks pretty good. I don't even see any marks. Uh, there's one slight mark on the wall, uh, you know, where somebody looks like somebody had something hanging or something. But I mean, it looks pretty good. Uh, the hallway looks pretty good. Uh, bathroom. In the bathroom, the one issue here in the bathroom that is existing is this uh, crack in this one piece of tile. It looks like there's another crack here in this second piece of tile right here. Uh, but uh, this one tile looks as cracked. So uh, that's already there. So uh, trying to document things for um, uh, as it is when the new tenants move in tomorrow. So you know who did it and who did it and whatever. But that's anyway. Here's the second bedroom here on the uh, the back on the left side. Uh, again, looks pretty good. The floor's got a couple of scuff marks on it. It could just be buffed. But uh, considering again eight years, it looks pretty good. The wall, I don't see any scratches on the wall in here uh, whatsoever. Okay. Uh, go in here. Now, this is the master bedroom. And this is the bedroom that was clearly used the most because it's got the most uh, scuff marks or whatever on the floor. This one right down here, I don't think you can see it because of the way the sun shining, but uh, uh, it's pretty bad scuff marks right here in the middle of the floor. So I'm not sure what was going on there. I'm trying to catch it on this video. But um, uh, again, if it was just buffed, it'll be fine. Uh, but uh, here are the marks on the walls. Uh, again, you can tell this was the most used. Uh, it's got several marks on the walls. 
Again, most of the time, even in a regular apartment complex, even if somebody's been there a year or six months, when they move out, the whole place gets painted. So uh, this has been eight years and we didn't, there, no paint was done on the inside. Uh, we just tried to do what we could do that, uh, to make it safe. Uh, the safety issues, such as that cabinet in the kitchen, it was about to fall off the wall. So, anyway, here's the way it looks right now. This is the, the house as it is on November the 6th, 2018. Uh, this is the kitchen. Helen put uh, baking soda in the refrigerator and the freezer so it'll keep the smell out. Um, anyway, there's the tile on the wall. Let me say, kitchen is functional, everything works, but um, it's obviously dated. It needs a, if you were gonna sell this, this place, get it, it's, it, it'll be a completely remodeled. So, that's the situation there. Okay, I'm gonna go up here and show you the attic. Okay, we're going up the steps right now. Show you the attic. Even though I may have showed you this before, I'm just trying to show it to you as it is on the last day after everything was cleaned up. Um, Helen and Darius came over here yesterday. Last night, they were out here on Polishing and rubbing the floors and cleaning up all the dust, sweeping, blah, blah, blah. And here's the attic. And you can see everything is gone out of the attic. Uh, that's it. That's the attic. Okay. And here we are. Back here, this room here, this, is, I, this room has potential here uh, for a lot of things. But anyway, here's the storage. As you can see, it's all empty. All that junk that used to be here is all gone. So, but uh, this room right here, I do see a lot of potential in it. Um, it could be, it's kind of a funky little space. But uh, the wallpaper certainly is okay, but... Uh, but as far as the way it looks, it's way dated. I mean, the same thing with this rug. The rug is all dated and everything. I could, if this, I could see this whole room here being completely redone. It'd be kind of a cool space, like an office or whatever. But anyway, that's the way it is on this date. Okay, going back down the steps. And then I'll show you the uh, garage. Okay, as you can see, the garage is all cleaned up. Uh, Helen they came up here last night and mopped it and swept it and mopped it and everything. There's the new sink that uh, John put in the last tenants before uh, sometime while they were here replaced the old one. Nice sink, uh, double sink works just fine. The garage uh, again looks probably about the same as it did the last time you were here. Uh, I remember we painted it eight years ago before the last people moved in, so um, it's, it's you know it's had some. Got some marks here and there, um, but uh, but overall the, it's a garage. It looks good, but obviously it needs painting. Um, but again, we just tried to do with the basics what we had to do here. Here's this side over here. Obviously, it's got a lot of paint chipped here and there. It uh, could stand to be painted. Uh, I came over here the other day, as I think I'm putting in the video, and I did maintenance on the garage door because it made a lot of noise when you opened and closed it. Uh, the garage guy showed me what to do when they installed this garage and so I've been doing it over I was doing it over here and then at your mom's house but uh, he basically uh, there's a certain way you lubricate those rollers a special way to do it if you don't do it right it'll actually make more noise so it's much quieter now than it was okay I'm gonna go out here and show you the front some of the things in the front that were done okay here's the new gutters uh, this Sebastian put on uh, the other day and they're up to code uh, with the extended uh, downspout down there at the bottom. They want those extended out f so that water comes out further away from the house. So Sebastian did that properly. And uh, there's the new gutters all the way across the front of the house. I'm going to reshow just, in, uh, just to remind you, the issue, this major issue is all this wood going all the way the eaves all underneath the front of the house as you can see it's all rotten see how it's rotten and cracked right there all the way across the front of the house 
That's the way it is. See, look at that. Look at that. That's because the previous gutters that Sebastian replaced weren't on there properly. So uh, they caused all this damage underneath the uh, eaves. Uh, so all of this needs to be replaced or fixed. But uh, Sebastian just did not have time to do it. And it would have been fairly costly to do it, too. But he just did the best he could with uh, repairing what was there and then putting the new gutters on, of course, all the way across. And that's what I'm filming right here, right now. The gutters all the way across the front of the house. So but the, the damage to the eaves is all the way. Not so bad on this side as it is on the side right above the garage, but it is, there's damage here and there. There's some there in the corner. I don't know if you can get it on this video or not, but there's some damage right there too. And here's the other gutter on the left, the left corner of the house going down. And again, he's got the extended downspout because that's what's required under Alameda Code. Now they want the water coming further away from the house uh, than it used to be. So, Okay, and there's the, uh, as you see, the, the house does need painting. It's got chip on it. I mean, it's weathered here and there, blah, blah, blah. So, um, there are problems. But, normal maintenance, there's nobody here looking after this house anymore. Uh, the, John's gone. He took care of it. Uh, when they lived here because they, they thought they were going to be able to buy the house. So, um, uh, but now that he's not here, you're going to get back to regular runners and they're not going to do anything because they don't have to. Uh, here's the uh, gate from the outside. All the, there's the two posts uh, that were put, put up by Sebastian as well as the new top piece going across the top. And um, it's solid now. It was not solid. Well, you, could, you could not open the, the door. It was real bad. So... Okay, that's that, and then we come down here around the front. Okay, and I'm going to show you uh, the front of the yard. Uh, here's the plants as they are. You can see each one has a little recessed area around the bottom so that the water will stay around the bottom roots of each plant. And, um, and then instead of running off or whatever, so I watered all these yesterday. Um, the one issue here is with this uh, paradise, whatever you call this thing. Uh, it's, it was root bound eight years ago, uh, but it's, it's gotten so bad now that it's actually broken the, the brickwork right here in the front. The whole thing needs to be dug out, and you basically need a power tool of some kind to dig it out because there's no room to dig it. But it's even pushed the brickwork away from the front of the house right there. So that certainly needs to be addressed uh, sometime later on. Okay, I'm going to uh, back up here and I'm going to show you an extended view of the house here uh, on Tuesday, November the uh, 6th, 2018. Uh, if you notice the, how nice and neat the front is, uh, John and them kept it very nice and neatly uh, landscaped, kept these trees and everything in the front uh, trimmed and uh, it just looks really good. So they just did a really good job with it. So, um, uh, but there's the house, Tuesday, November the 6th, 2018. And uh, again, we came over here and did this because nobody else did it. Nobody from the East Coast, the, land, the owner did not come out here and uh, take care of business like they should have. They've got a million dollar house sitting here and didn't do a dang thing. So it had to be done. It had to come over here. You have to do things when people move out. You have to document. You have to see what the house looks like in case somebody comes back and tries to sue you, says something didn't work or whatever. You have to take care of business, okay? This is not a hell of an issue. This is, this, is a, this is just a fact. You have to take care of business. So, uh, and you got nobody, no, you didn't call, you didn't inquire, you didn't do anything about checking out the house. So anyway, we had to do it. Uh, so. This is your, your mom's legacy. Your mom left you guys the money that she did from the sale of her house, which she didn't want. She always wanted a place for you guys, so that was the spirit. So when selling her house and giving each of you guys the money to pay off your mortgages, that is the same thing as basically keeping the house so that anybody always has a place to live. Uh, everybody's houses are all paid for. But that's your mom's legacy. And to not care about your mom's legacy by not even coming out here to check on this house is pretty bad. It dishonors your mom's memory, and that's just not right. 
So Helen tried to do the best she could uh, by coming over here and uh, getting the house in order. Uh, uh, you know, at least in order, uh, safety-wise, and doing the things that absolutely had to be done. Uh, and I uh, hope you understand that, and I hope you get the money out here pretty dang quickly. Uh, yeah, Helen had to front the money to get this house fixed. Uh, so it was, I don't know what the last count was on materials, but uh, uh, I know I went to Home Depot with Sebastian the other day, it was $300 worth right there, and I used my military discount uh, to get 10% uh, off on it. So, uh, and then uh, about a few days before that, uh, he bought another $200 worth. So I know there's over $500 in materials alone that were spent on uh, getting this place fixed up. And so Sebastian, his, his fee was, was materials and labor. So no matter how much he spent on materials, he, there's no more extra money. So that's why $2,500 is very, very reasonable considering he spent seven days straight at this house to get it done because he was going on uh, his vacation. And uh, he needed that money, so Helen had to front him the money because you guys didn't send it to him. So anyway, this is the house, November the 6th, 2018. I've documented everything. So uh, this is how it is uh, when the new tenants move in tomorrow, November the 7th, 2018. All right, thank you.